As the job board owner, you are actively building out a candidate database as candidates come to your job board, search for jobs, and register to apply. So from the back end of your job board admin panel, you can click Candidates, View All, And from this page, you'll be able to see all of the candidates who have registered on your platform. So again, candidates will, will come to your page and they'll be able to fill out a registration form. Alternatively, if they are doing a job search um, on your job board, what they can do is click into a job and they can apply by uploading a resume. So if they want to do that, what they would do is just click that um, they would find the resume on their computer, whether it's a PDF or a Word document, and then they would upload that. And the job board platform uses resume parsing. So the system would read all of the fields in their PDF resume and create a profile for them to register. Otherwise, if they do click login and apply, that's where they will be prompted to fill out the full registration form um, that you see here. So candidates have a few different ways um, to be able to register on the job board platform. Either way they do it, they're going to be added to the job board um, backend that you see here. Um, to kind of look at the privacy settings that candidates have, uh, what you're gonna wanna do is go in here to actions and then log in as. And if you come over here to the left under manage membership and privacy settings, by default, when your job board is set up, candidates will be added to the candidate search system. So that means employers will be able to search for them, contact them, send them emails. But at any time, if candidates, maybe they're more of a passive candidate, um, they don't necessarily want to be contacted by employers or recruiters, they do have these two additional options. So if they check either of these, what will happen is that they'll still be counted towards your database of candidates. But in search results for employers searching your database, the candidates initials will show up instead of their full name. And all of their contact information, education history, work history will be hidden. So the employers cannot contact them directly. If at any time your candidates contact you and they do want to be removed from the site, there's a few different options. Um, if they come over here to manage my membership and my account, what they can do themselves is actually deactivate their account. So what that'll do is it'll suspend the profile from you know, the candidate search results and the job match system, um, and they'll still be able to log in. So this is an ideal option you know, if, if perhaps they'll be back at some point. Otherwise, if, if you know, they definitely just wanna be deleted completely from your database, what you're gonna do is switch back up here and go back to um, your job board admin panel where you see your full list of candidates. And over here on the right, you'll see an option where you can click delete. So that'll actually delete the candidate completely from your job board if they do want to be permanently removed.